Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet, and I decided this time to make a series of short videos on BJT-based transistor logic gates, just to kind of give a, uh, an understanding of how you might structure these and how they would work. So to begin with this first video, I decided let's start with the relatively simple gate, in this case, a NOT gate, an inverter basically. So we're going to look at this particular gate right here. And really what it consists of, if I move around this way a little bit, you'll see there is a transistor in here. In this case it's a PNP transistor and all its purposes in this particular cir circuit is to invert the incoming signal. So in this case, I'll back out a little bit here and have you see, in this case the yellow wire is our incoming signal. At the moment it's grounded, as you'll see, basically coming off the blue rail. It goes into a resistor, in this case 220 ohms, which is fed into the base of the transistor. And in fact, let me turn this a little bit and give you another view of the thing a little closer here. It's fed into the base of the transistor, and there's also a, 50, a, a 10 ohm, a 10k ohm, excuse me, resistor that goes to the base that also goes to ground. Uh, you'll see that the emitter, the very first pin to the left on the transistor, is going to the positive rail and the, the white wire coming off the collector is the output that goes to the LED uh, and passes through it to ground, basically lighting it up. Now, The reason the, the LED is on at the moment is we're feeding ground into our circuit, so this point basically is zero. If I were to go over here and basically move this to the positive rail, you notice the LED goes out. We're now feeding a 1 into our circuit, a positive value. Our LED goes off, showing a 0 coming out of our circuit. That's really how this particular circuit works. Now what I've done is I've put together a small schematic to kind of show you what I'm looking at and what you'll see on here is you'll see the 5 volt supply and you'll see the the switch which we're calling our input that's our key going through the 220 ohm resistor to the base of the transistor you'll also see the 10k ohm uh, resistor that comes off a of ground and then the emitter is coming off of the positive side of this uh, circuit being a PNP transistor we want to we want to pull positive and the collector then goes up and feeds our LED and back through a 220 ohm resistor back to ground the way this circuit actually works if you look at it is when the switch is open there is no current flowing through the 220 ohm resistor it's basically floating so the base of the transistor actually sees a negative potential through the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, it, it basically sees ground. Therefore, the transistor is uh, in uh, active mode. In this case, it being a PNP transistor, the base is seeing ground. Therefore, it's in operating mode. So current is flowing from the positive side of the battery through the transistor, through the LED to light it up, through the 220 ohm R3 resistor and back to ground. Once the switch is closed, then positive current flows through the 220 ohm resistor back through the 10k ohm to ground, basically putting the base of the transistor uh, in a positive uh, in a in a positive differential compared to ground, and in essence cutting off the transistor. When the transistor gets cut off, then basically the LED is no longer lit and goes out. So that's how you have an inverter, in this case, using a single transistor. You'll see down at the bottom is our logic uh, table for this. So a zero on the A input gets, gives you a one on the output, and a one on the A input gives you a zero on the output. So that's a NOT gate. If you continue on looking at the other videos, you'll see how to build all the other basic logic gates available for this uh, available uh, to use. 
all built around a series of BJT transistors. Thank you.